The iPhone 16 Pro Max came recently out and it's already being the star of a lot of videos reviewing the powerful A18 Pro the cameras, yes, everything, also of course included the new camera control button. So if you are not aware, Apple introduced a new feature, they calling it the camera control. But what it does is actually a button and it's actually a cool button. You can open the camera, right? And then you can also try to half press it and you're able to invoke certain things like zooming in, zooming out. You can also click here and they build a whole interface around this menu. It allows you to control the cameras, the zoom, also the depth, the exposure. So it can be useful. Now, honestly, guys, I'm not using it, but it can be useful. I'm not saying it's not useful. And with this button, they also introduce some unwanted behavior. Now, what do I mean here, guys? You might want to check my friend System House video. He made me aware about this, but there is a very big thread on Reddit with a lot of upvotes and downvotes and the response about the so-called iPhone 16 touch responsive issue. So apparently it is an issue. But first, let me tell you, what is all about. And here guys, I do have the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, how do we know? Very easy, you know, like no camera control button. So what is this touch unresponsive issue and how can we replicate it? Well, let me explain. When you put your finger right somewhere here in that area, where the camera control button is like this, and you start scrolling, sometimes it's gonna work. And of course, I have to try this several times to just hit the spot, but right now I do believe that I've hit the spot and you can see it will become unresponsive. So you need to scroll several times, Sometimes, yeah, like you see, now right now I cannot get outside of this menu. If I lift my finger, boom, I'm there. All right, so this is the thing. Apparently when you touch the phone in this area here, that is beneath the new camera control button, you have this issue. And this here is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, guys, and it seems that I'm able to replicate this issue again, right? So I'm not sure if that's related to the camera control. See, right now, okay, it, it's okay. But at some point, uh, you saw it's starting to get choppy. And there's also the other thing. People also do report that this happens when they put the finger on the left spot as well. So they're calling it the dead spot. So if you put a finger on the left dead spot, it should become the same. Okay, right now, see, it's totally unresponsive. I cannot do anything, right? Okay, now I can. So it seems to be like a hidden miss. And by the way, this is not so hard to replicate. So right now I'm holding this very same exact position. See, I can go outside and when I go back, I'm even able to scroll. But sometimes, you know, like you, when you just hit it, like this sweet spot, the phone might become unresponsive. Let's do this one more time. So let me hold it like this. Okay, not an issue. So again, it doesn't really happen all the time, but when it happens, it's not so pleasant. Okay, right now, see, I'm not able to control it. But when I go outside and when I go inside, I'm gonna be able to control it. So let's try to do this also on the lock screen. Some people said that this doesn't affect the lock screen, but for me, it's the same on the lock screen. See right now, I'm not able to do so. And we can also check, of course, what happens with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Let me try to hold this area like this. Okay, so it really seems that it's not like that. And it really seems that the iPhone 15 series is not affected because of course they don't have here the camera control button. So of course they don't have this interface in the camera that is gonna pop up here. So most probably this area here is not with reduced sensitivity. For sure this thing is not pleasant and I really don't think it's a hardware thing, right? It's a software thing, but Apple should do something about this. The remedy for this could be the moment you're not using the camera control to just enhance the responsiveness here to align it with the overall touch responsive everywhere, but they probably reserved this field here again for the sake of the camera control button. So I don't really think it's a hardware related problem. Most probably it's a software thing and we are yet to see how Apple are going to fix it. Thanks so much for watching guys. This is the over and bye.